What's up, everyone? It's Brian from Exact Cybersecurity and IT. Welcome to our latest update video on the CrowdStrike Microsoft outage, global IT outage affecting thousands of companies around the world. There's tons of things down from airports to banks to some government entities. I wanted to get this second video out. One, because my live stream uh, the audio, the video wasn't so great on that. It kept cutting out. I don't know if it had to do with the global IT outages that were going on. My assumption is yes, because we don't have any other issues. Um, and they appeared to have cleared themselves up. I also did that video through live, uh, through a tool called StreamYard, which I typically don't do. I'm not doing this video through that either. So hopefully this one comes through a little bit better for you than that one. I apologize, but I'm not taking it down. I'm going to leave it up. So, uh, sorry it's so bad, but it's also indicative of the situation, and I think it's a good uh, history marker for people to see what was going on at the time. So, I think it's good to leave it. So, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified. There's links down in the description if you need help with IT or cybersecurity. We'd love to help you or your company with any challenges you might be having around this CrowdStrike issue or anything with cybersecurity. But the reason for this video is I wanna get a update out there from Microsoft and potentially some CrowdStrike uh, employees on some fixes, some workarounds, some troubleshooting steps that you can try. Um, Microsoft has said that they've been made aware of the issue. They've posted this on their Azure status page. Um, so I will link that down below if you don't know where that is. And they said they've received some reports of successful recovery from some customers attempting multiple virtual machine restart operations on affected virtual machines. This is really good news for server people and a lot of those apps and services and websites that aren't loading when you, when people get to them, it's probably a server that's down as a result of this. And it's probably a VM more than likely and a, and a virtual machine uh, could be could be an easy fix here potentially. Basically saying in the Azure portal attempting to restart the affected VMs uh, can work or using a command line uh, or Azure shell. Uh, it says they received feedback from customers that several reboots, as many as 15 have been reported, may be required but overall feedback is that the reboots are an effective troubleshooting step at this stage. Sounds odd to me that you can be able to reboot your computer and kind of fix your way through this issue. But they're saying that for some people that has worked. For additional recovery options, they are recommending customers that are able to restore from a backup before... 1900 UTC on the 18th of July. That's basically when this patch went out. So if you can restore from a backup uh, prior to that date fairly easily, that's what they're telling you to do. Wow, that's, that's a pretty big deal. But if you have them, you're lucky. Um, alternatively, customers can attempt to uh, repair the OS disk offline by following these instructions. Uh, and there's instructions on how to restore an Azure VM data in Azure portal uh, linked. Uh, in addition, they said that disks that are encrypted may need additional instructions. So you have to uh, unlock an encrypted disk for offline repair. Uh, so if you're following proper cybersecurity and you have BitLocker turned on or encryption turned on your hard drives, which you probably should, you might have to take an extra step here to get your systems back up and running. Um, it says once the disk is attached, customers can attempt to delete the following file located uh, at windows slash system slash system32 slash diver slash crowdstrike slash C0000000. So it looks like five zeros, 291 asterisk dot sys file i will link to this article down below as i said uh, the disk can then be attached and reattach the original vm we can confirm that the affected update has been pulled by uh crowdstrike 
Customers that are continuing to experience the issue should reach out to CrowdStrike for additional assistance. Additionally, we're continuing to investigate additional mitigation options for customers and we'll share more information as it becomes known. Um, this has affected all VMs around the world in the Azure environment. Basically, every Windows system is impacted by this. So if you're running Windows and CrowdStrike together, you're probably having a bad day. Here are some things that you can try to get back up and running. Reboot that VM maybe 15 times or more. Um, there's a file that you can delete in the CrowdStrike folder that also is a attempted workaround or fix to get the system up without using a data backup recovery process. Uh, but just remember if you're using an encrypted drive you need to take an extra step to get your system back up and running. So good luck. Hopefully this works for you. If I get any more updates, I will certainly bring them to you here to give you updates on how to get these systems back up and running because God knows the world needs to get back up and running at this point. So stay safe out there. Remember, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take